Well, good morning. Pastor Mercer here with you for your uh, daily devotion. This is uh, uh, September 26th. Our psalm for today is Psalm 16. Our New Testament reading, we will now look at Matthew chapter 4. This is the temptation of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Matthew chapter 4. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, and setting him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you. And on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God. And him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, the temptation of Jesus. Jesus is baptized. Notice baptism, what happens after baptism, temptation. He goes into the wilderness, and there he is Fast, fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. There's that, there's that 40 again, that number that we see a lot of through Scripture there too. And, and what happens, the tempter comes along to him when he's the most vulnerable in all of these things. And his first temptation, what does he try to do? He tries to tempt him because he's hungry. Simply, Jesus, if you are who you say you are, simply take these stones and and uh, to become loaves of bread. And Jesus answers him. His answer shows that he, he's showing that we, we should uh, display trust in God in all things. Um, we, we, uh, God feeds us with his bread from heaven. We are fed, fed by him. This uh, not, not simply um, just... For, for our bodies here. 
And the devil takes him up to the, to the holy city next, uh, tempting him with protection, bodily harm, all of these things. Look, uh, the scripture says if you throw yourself off this and down, uh, the, the, uh, Lord, the Lord will command his angels concerning you. And they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Well, this is really no different than how the, than how the Jews had tempted Jesus there in the wilderness, like at Massa, with, uh, temp, uh, uh, because they were angry, because they were thirsty, and constantly putting the Lord to the test. Jesus always quotes the scripture, uh, 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 the, the answer, his answer is with scripture. Uh, we know that the, the liar, the deceiver, the devil, always, he's taking, sure, he's quoting scripture here like he often does today, but he's taking everything out of context. Jesus reminds him here, tells the tempter that we shall not, we should not, we, will not, we do not put the Lord your God to the test. So the, finally, the third temptation, he takes him up and he tries to tempt him with all of uh, the, the, um, the, the world, the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. The thing about this one is, is, it, is it's as if, as if the devil was offering him things that were really not even his to give. And what does Jesus do here? He says, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only, shall you serve. Tell Satan to be gone, the devil left him, and then behold, angels came and were ministering to him. Here, Walter reminded us here that Jesus fought for us, for the entire human race, really, in his temptation. If Jesus had, and, and this, was, this could not happen anyway, as he is, Jesus is, the, the, the Son of God, the God in flesh. So in one sense, we could say this, is, this could not happen. He could not be tempted, uh, succumb to temptation, I should say. Yet, um, yet he, was, he was tempted. But the sinless one, the one who came and fulfilled the law for you and me, did not, did not succumb to sin. This, was, this could not happen as he was the Messiah to come the one that was foretold that would save us from our sins. So when I look at this, uh, as far as a catechetical review, of, uh, dear saints, if we just go back here um, to the first three commandments, the, the first table of the law, which is, you shall have no other gods. What does this mean? We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. The second commandment, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not curse, swear, use, use satanic arts, lie, or deceive by his name, but call upon it in every trouble, pray, praise, and give thanks. And we see the deceiver here in the temptation of Christ. That's exactly what he was doing. The third commandment, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not despise preaching and his word, but hold it sacred and gladly hear and learn it. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tomorrow, 
uh, we continue in Matthew where we see that Jesus begins his ministry and calls his first disciples. See you then.